Well, welcome to another month of donations and deliveries. Not that there's much to do. Partly because I've spent most of my money and time helping others. And um, my uh, health is not great as a result of that either. But in any case, um, what we did manage to afford this month is um, some throttle body and carby cleaner. That is relevant to a donation that we've had. We'll go out and check that out in a moment and explain that. But yes, I am a bit short on money. YouTube, despite appearances, doesn't pay really very much at all. And not necessarily every month for me. So, um, yeah, sometimes I'm a bit short on cash. I live on a disability pension, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go and see what we've been given. All right, we're out on the messy side of the place. And uh, we have an engine here. This is a uh, small little electric start Chinese engine that my late brother bought. My brother passed away approximately 10 years ago. And uh, this has been sitting in my father's shed for quite some time. He's finally decided that he's ready to let it go. My brother had purchased this with a view to turning it into a generator. Hence the double pulley on the side here. Well, I happen to have a spare 24 volt 100 amp generator out of the ambulance and uh, that may end up attached to this or possibly a smaller one but uh, yeah it does need some work the fuel tap was left on over 10 years of sitting and it's had fuel running through the carby's blocked up needs an oil change really basically hasn't done any real work um, so hopefully we can make this work the air cleaner is basically pristine there's never been any oil on it uh, one of the main complaints there was with this is it ran very lean and it was hard to start um, I think that putting a bit of oil on the air filter will restrict some of the airflow and maybe richen it up a little bit. Otherwise, we may open the jet up a little bit. But in any case, it's uh, an interesting little engine and it's the right price. And uh, we'll see if we can make it work. All right, it is March and it's still noisy because the air conditioner is running. It's 9.30 at night, 10.30 at night and it's still 38 degrees outside. Um, to that end, I have a delivery, which is a um, 5 litre jerry can um, with lots of warning stuff on it. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I needed a 5 litre jerry that was robust. Now, also what has arrived, some good old WD-40 and some DOT 5.1 brake fluid. Enlarged because the brakes, I opened up the... Uh, the brake reservoir because my brake stopped working in the six wheel drive the other day and it was empty and of course that means I have to bleed stuff so I bought the last three of them on the shelf which is uh, fun but uh, of course the mechanic um, I kindly gifted him some grit mitts which is a channel sponsor this stuff you can get at Repco and a few other places and they make a liquid as well which has uh, also been very good I get this at a very good discount because I promote their stuff and uh, I approached them in order to get that promotion because I thought this stuff was already good. I have a couple of buckets. I don't think I need to show you that. Um, something else we did get was an Anderson 2 8mm ring terminal. This is for my generator project going straight on to the, or direct to the battery bank on the ambulance instead of back feeding up all my other Anderson plugs, which will be nice. And uh, I've got a few other things to show up, but I'm not sure where they are at the moment. We'll see them shortly through the magic of video in the next cut. All right, um, things have changed a little bit. I've got to find all my buttons here, that one. So uh, I sold some stuff. Um, part of the reason I gave away a lot of my money too was that I had to pay my apprentice to do some work. And uh, she racked up a lot of money and uh, I didn't realize how big her bill was getting. But uh, she's got that game she's been aiming for for a couple of months now. Um, so you may hear her squealing in the background. Um, I did go, buy, go and buy a couple of things with some of the money that I got from selling things. One of which is a turnbuckle. It's going to get used for an upcoming project. I've got a big square U-bolt that's 10 mil. This will probably get cut into pieces. And we've got some nuts and bolts and stuff. And there's my apprentice with a new game trying to negotiate us to help set it up. There's a few more things um, I've got to go and check out. Now, this delivery had to come home in the Land Rover, and it's hiding away in the back here. We've got a three-shelf service cart. This one's going to get converted into a generator. Um, you'll see how in the upcoming project. I think there's something up the front, too. Also up the front is some high-temp wheel-bearing grease. Two and a half kilos of the stuff. 
because I'm paying somebody to do wheel bearings in the six wheel drive fairly soon. I had another delivery. This one is thanks to Anthony, who's also a fan of the channel, and uh, it came at a very, very good price and has never been opened. We've got an original Bosch sticker on here. So uh, I am exceptionally over the moon at the price of this. So let's see what's actually in the box here. Have a look, the original cardboard packing. This is brand new. There's even the original manual in here. In case you haven't noticed, this is a 24 volt Bosch alternator. This is the, the small one that normally goes in the six wheel drive and the uh, FFR Parentis. Parenti being Land Rovers, like the ones I've got. Um, now I have a 100 amp 24 volt alternator, a huge one in the ambulance. This one we're going to hook up to a, uh, a small six and a half horsepower engine as an auxiliary generator. Okay, we have some more donations, but I thought it was notable to point out the temperature at the moment. And uh, I've just got back from oncology. And uh, yeah, they stabbed me three times because I couldn't find a vein, partly because I think I might have been a bit dehydrated. In any case, we found ourselves an A-section belt that is relevant to a project we're working on. This is not bad. It's an A-section, it works well. We found unobtainium as well. We found a wedge globe holder. Um, and found even more unobtainium. We found some 24 volt wedge globes, um, three watt, suitable to fit to the alternator to excite the field. Um, so that will be very handy. Got a few more things in the vehicle. We'll grab them out in a minute. Now, also arrived is an assortment of uh, various fibro washers in different thicknesses and diameters. Hopefully, one of these will fit the fuel bowl on my brother's old engine. Okay, we scored a bargain on a couple of uh, bulk lots. And these you can get in from uh, Office Works. They're a special order. You've got to do them online only. And apparently, somebody returned them, so they put twenty dollars stickers on the whole box. These are good. We're going to restock the Ambo with them. Also picked up memory sticks as usual. And I found there was a good deal on a high-speed SD card. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what else shows up. Now, people give me a bit of flack for buying uh, individual portions. But uh, when we're living in something like this in the field, we don't want to open an entire pack of things we're not going to eat. And then not going to go back to for several weeks. So, uh, individual portion control is much better. And we've had some more deliveries, and it's windy and cool today. Got some different terminals here. We've got a large uh, turnbuckle, and uh, we had the guys at Electronic Barn. I'll try and put a link below if I remember. Um, these guys made up a good Anderson lead for me. It's good stuff. All right, another delivery, or rather a gift, showed up. A wholesale saw set. Very handy, because I need to cut a hole in the top of that thing soon. Also, a paint marker for measuring RPM. That will be equally handy. All right, we made it to the end of March. And um, some final deliveries. We have some snap fasteners because I busted one on my belt pouch, my favorite one. So I'm gonna try and fix it. I don't have the right tool for doing these, but uh, I'll improvise some. Some sound deadening for the generator project. That's um, self-adhesive foam, it's good stuff. And a... Uh, power board because the one in the apprentice's room is uh, sparking and doing stupid things. So it's going to get decommissioned, I'm going to get this thing and it's got uh, slightly more modern USB charging on it, which will help. All is useful. Anyway, we'll see you next month and uh, I hope it was interesting. Hopefully uh, I get my YouTube money next month. That will help with a couple of the donations and deliveries. But anyway, it's been fun. Hope you uh, enjoyed it, I guess. Everybody drops off at this point in the video, so let's not bother talking too much more. We'll see you in the next one.